I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about difference between gates and a scanner function in C programming. So, first I am going to mark this one comment. So, compiler doesn't execute this line and doesn't check this line. Here after, at this point, I am using a scanner function. So, let's uh, execute the code and enter the string. So, at here, I am going to enter Hi. So at here, if I enter the string hi, the length of a string this is or displaying to you. And uh, next time, if I'm going to execute one more time, so here I'm going to enter hi guys. So look at the the length of a string is still this is displaying to you. But total length of a string, this is hi1, hi2, one blank space, 3, and this is 4. So total character are 7. So the length should be display at here 7. But uh, here, if you are using a scanner function, so this will display, this will not count blank space. So, a scanner function doesn't allow to count blank space or white space. So, let's use add your gets function in place of a scanner function. And here, I'm going to enter str and execute the code. So, add here, I'm going to enter high. So it's a displaying to length of a string and uh, here let's enter hi guys. So now I'm getting the length of a string 7 uh, because gets read the uh, string values which allows white space at here but a scanner function not read any white space. So this is the main difference between a scanner and gates function. So one more time I am going to repeat gates function read the string value which allows white space whereas a scanner function doesn't allow to read any white space blank space. So this is the key difference between gates and a scanner function in C programming. So this is all about a scanner function and gets function. So I hope guys you understand. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.